What's up? How you doing? Good morning. How are you? I am Grandma Faye. I'm here today with another testimonial. And I will begin. We're going to talk about today's testimonial will be um, about a broken woman. Okay? So, I did get the email to the ma'am that wrote this one. I do have your email. Here, and I'm going to go ahead and begin to share your testimony and give my feedback as well. Okay? We're so, begin reading. We're going to begin with a prayer. Okay? Um, and I'll pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we come to you once again saying thank you. Lord, we thank you for what you're doing, what you're going to do in our lives, Lord God. Thank you for these testimonies, Lord God. Let me be a sponsor. Be who I am supposed to be within you, Lord. Use this vessel that I might help someone who needs to be helped. Or give the right opinion or give the, what you tell me to say in the mighty name of Jesus. I claim this victory right now in the mighty Jesus. Amen. Okay, let's jump on into it. And she says, Hello, Grandma Faye, testimonial. Life has a funny way of throwing punches when you're already down, doesn't it? Here I am, juggling with rent, nursing a broke heart after my fiance, um, after my fiance up and left for another woman. <laughs> After I thought we were seven and a half years together, only to discover that he had been he had been in some Ray Charles type of glorious secretive two year relationship at the same time. And just when I thought things could get worse, I get canned from my job thanks to some stupid point system and a clunker of a car. From my ex-marriage. It's like the universe decided to dump a ton of crap all on me at once. Let's not get into the bills. Not the typical utility ones, but those bankruptcy medical ones. <laughs> you know, the ones from the greatest country in the world. The best medical but only for those people who can afford to live beyond lacquered spleen. Okay. Um, but then, one lazy Sunday afternoon with my son napping, I stumbled across your channel while watching a social, while watching a local social church service on YouTube. Instead of switching off. I instantly went over to my phone and opened the TikTok. I guess you I guess YouTube knew what was needed because for some wacky reason you popped up reading a letter from a guy who seemed pretty pissed about people like me. This letter from him really struck a chord. Some guys been venting his frustration about a woman made me want to give him a piece of my mind and say, Hey, buddy, not all women with kids are like that. <laughs> but when it hit me, I guess what I'm getting to, what I'm getting at, Grandma Faye, testimonial. Wait, how should we address you? Sorry, that's what she says. How should we address you? Or what shall we call you? Random, but anyway. Can you shine a light on why life feels like one big cosmic joke sometimes and remind us that even when we're sinking, there's still a flicker of hope to hold on to? Okay. So I read her whole testimonial, and I'm going to address the testimonial in how I perceived it. Okay. The first question was, she said, um, life have a funny way of uh, throwing punches. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Because you can be up one day and down the next. But it's all how you handle it. When, um, and how, like I said, that's how you handle it. So, yes, it's funny. But the Bible lets us know that if we lean and depend on God, he can do all things for us. Through 
and through us if we just what believe go and read jeremiah 29 and 11 1 11 through 13 and there's another scripture i can share with you is matthews 11 28 and 30 if you want to get a pen y'all can write these scriptures down okay and it's just, this is just reference scriptures so that when you're feeling low and down, you can go to them and read them, okay? I'm going to start over for you. The ones that's getting a pen, I'll give you a couple of seconds to get you a pen and paper. And these are scriptures to help you overcome when you feel like life has thrown so many punches that you can't deal with. Okay? I'm going to tell you, start over. It says, Jeremiah, you go read Jeremiah 29, 11 through 13, Matthew 28 through 30. 11, 28 through 30. Chapter 11, verses 28 through 30. Psalms 119, 50. Deuteronomy 31 and 8. Psalms 3 and 3. Psalms 61, 1 through 4. Nahum 1 and 7. Philippians 4, 6 and 7. Proverbs 16 and 9. Isaiah 41 10 through 13, and Romans 8 and 26. Those are some scriptures that will help you through when you're going through. Y'all turn to God. That's the only way you're going to make it through any trauma or discord or anything that's going on in your life that, that you feel like it's not a, it's too much. Because we're going to say it's not enough. It's too much, and you can't take it no more. You refer to the scriptures, and you'll be okay. And it's going to help you. It's going to build you. And um, I can go and, um, you know, Tell you a story by myself, but we're going to go there too. That's a later story. We'll tell it later. But how would you feel if your husband had left you for another woman? You're in a seven and a half relationship. Leave it down in the comment below. Let, let this lady know really how she should handle this situation. But all I know is to tell us to try Jesus, and he'll take you through. Um, but if y'all have comments, if y'all leave y'all comments down below, because this might help her out of what she's going through. She's going through a funk right now. She needs some help. She needs assistance. But the only thing I could tell her is to try Jesus. Okay? And then, scrolling on, um, she was scrolling on TikTok. And she saw me. And God showed her me. So that she can come over here and I can try to help her go through her situation. So that's why I'm here today. And I'm asking you for your opinion to help her or give you more feedback to give her. Be that person and give her that. That's what she's looking for. Okay. And let's go down a little further. Okay. Let me turn the page back over. Okay. Now we talked about the fiance. Um, she spawned me on TikTok. And when she talked about, she went back to the um, video we had last week, the testimony from um, Raleigh. That's his name, Raleigh. Um, and thank you again, Raleigh. Um, he gave his testimony, and, and he felt that way about a woman. We can't get mad at him for the way he feel because of the women he's been through. But you got to pick your women wisely, Riley. Don't don't take it out on all women like this lady said right here. And don't she said all women are not like that, and she got her feelings about it as well. And I'm just trying to tell you, all women were getting their feelings about that one because all women are not like that. I'm not one of them, okay? So I know they're not like that, Okay. And then she came down, she said it was like, it's, her life was like a comic book. I think that's what she said. No, she said why what she's going through felt like it was, she was in a comic book. Baby, life itself sometimes make you wonder. Just pray. And I gave you those scriptures so you can fall back on. They're going to help you. And hopefully you get the information that you're looking for. Hopefully you find your church home and go associate with some of the single women in the church so they can help you build your character, build your confidence in who you are. If you need support, get the support that you need, baby. Go to the church because you're not going to find it out here on the streets or find you a counselor. Okay? How do you... Okay, there we do. Let me see. But I'm I'm stand here today. I'm gonna tell you that's hope in, in in life. You know, going through this whole testimonial, letting you know that Grandma Faith feels you, your your hurt, your pain. I feel sorry for you, and I'm gonna pray for you. That's all I can do. I can pray and hope that God give you guidance to lead you on further to get what you're looking for. You know, I don't want to hold this um this video long because I try to be ten minutes on each one of them. I'm going a little over ten minutes, but I heard you mention. We could send the, okay, 
she finished her, her, her thing up. She said, I heard you mention we could send send this in anonymously. Please respond and please ask your followers to respond as well. I need support. I need a support team that's not out to get me. See, everybody feel like when they're going through something, everybody's out to get them. Baby, everybody's not out to get you. But I guarantee you, if some of you people that's coming in here viewing this video, drop your comments in, leave your comments so that it can help her overcome what she's going. And the Bible tells her we overcome by the words of our testimony. So therefore, she's gave her testimony and she's seeking assistance and looking for help. Baby, read those scriptures that I gave you. Know that God is going to bless you. I believe that everything that you ask him for, if you ask him, you have to believe it. And if you don't believe it, you're not going to receive it. So I'm telling you, to in order to receive your blessings, you have to ask for it, humble down, give your life back to him and start on a new way. And all this I'm saying because I want you to find Jesus in your life and find a friend that's really a friend. And if you can't find no other friend, stick with Jesus. He'll be the only friend that you need. I thank y'all for coming on this side of YouTube. But please leave your opinion. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on this video. Um, after you read it, after you go through it with this young lady, you know, leave your comments. She, oh, she has so many questions. She wants to know, you know, why, you know, why does she have to go through it? But baby, you're not by yourself. Just know that. But in all this, I'm going to end my video and I'm just going to let y'all know. It's more to come. These testimonies are rolling in back to back, back to back. And I'm only putting them up on Mondays and Fridays. That's because I want you to get in tune so that you can also leave your comments. So thank you. God bless you. Y'all have a great day. In Jesus name. Amen. And we're out. Goodbye.